Hi, my name is Mark Plomquist. I'm a furniture designer and maker, and um, as well as a aspiring naval architect. Um, I grew up on a windsurfer and a catamaran, a G-cat, and um, so I'm used to sailing at high speeds. Um, recently, I went. We went to Croatia and went windsurfing in Vigan. And um, I was having a harder time keeping the sail up and keeping on the board um, as I'm getting older. It's, it's, it's a lot harder to do that. Um, so I had the idea of, well, what if my surfboard, my windsurfer board had an outrigger that was on the windward side at all times and I could basically flip the sail around uh, but there was something holding up the mast so that it wouldn't fall in the water. Um, so anyway, um, this is a prototype. Now this sail is um, not a windsurfing sail, but um, it could be a windsurfing sail. It could be a non-cambered wing sail. This particular one is cambered because I just want to test it in one direction. Um, but the production boat would basically be a proa it would the sail would flip and you could go either this way or that way um, that is why i have two rudders um, on this model they they do not turn but on production model it would they would both turn so you could control the steering that way um, on this prototype i am controlling the steering with this movable uh, tail fin which is basically um, I have different slots at different angles and um, it's just a matter of finding the right balance um, if if the prototype I want it to be remain on a beam reach but if it tends to go towards the wind I could always stick it in here like that and that would cause it to balance better. Um, if it ends up going downwind, then I basically would put it back here. Um, at this point, I don't know. Uh, every time I build a prototype, it's tricky um, to find the balance between the force of lift of the sail and the force of lift of the center boards. Um, they have to be pretty much totally in line um, otherwise it'll turn this way or that way. So, but this I've found works pretty well. If you have relatively large center boards, uh, and you have a mechanism for changing the balance, um, and that's what this is for. Um, I have some weights right here. These weights would be where the, um, sailor would be sitting. Um, this hull is always on the windward side and the person would either sit here if it was going this direction or sit here or stand here if it was going this direction uh, to counteract the uh, the healing moment which is at a forward angle this way um, the main hull has two hydroplaning surfaces instead of one large one this is to reduce drag at high speeds. So actually the wetted surface area would only be here and here. At low speeds, it would be larger. Um, and um, the windward hull is not really designed to plane. It's more or less designed to be narrow for low speeds, um, reduce drag at low speeds, and to support the weight of the sailor. Um, but at high speeds, this would lift completely out of the water, either skimming or flying. Um, and um, the sail, this, the angle of the sail could be adjusted. Um, it pivots like this, and it also pivots like this. So I could change the angle that way. Right now it's 20 degrees, and it's about 30 degrees and that is the uh, pro profile of the of the wing. 
and uh, that is the angle that I have right now. It's about 30 degrees. Um, the height of the mass is equal to the length of the, um, the hulls. On a regular sailboat, you, could, you usually have a, a mass that's taller, but because I can't control this, um, I, have, I have to reduce the size. Um, otherwise, it'll just flip over, <laughs> and I won't be able to get it back for about a half hour of waiting. So I, I made this sail a little bit smaller than it would be um, if I was actually on the boat and controlling it. And um, that's about it. We'll see how it works.